in that period you're talking about, we bring them up to 100 degrees about 10 days before we put them in the smoker. Okay. That's the only difference on those. Okay. But the last thing I would talk to you before I start the judging process, unless you have some questions, is once you cure your meat, you hang it, or you can take newspaper and wrap it, and then put it in cheesecloth and keep it over there. About four months after then, you ought to see something growing right in this area. Yeah, it may be green, it may be pink, it may be blue, but you ought to see some penicillin growing. If you don't see some mold growing, you didn't do a good job. So why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this just in case you, you run out of meat and you go to the store and you ask the market man, I'd like to see a country ham. And he said, okay, they're on the shelf over there, wherever he's got them. Ask him to open it up and you want to look and see whether or not you can see some mold growing. If you don't see some mold growing, Ask him to open me up another hand. Now, I'm giving you some good free advice. Uh, you can take it or you can leave it. Uh, but most people, and the meat man is going to say to you, this one is spoiled. You don't want this one. <laughs> well, that's the one you want. Yes, ma'am. I see that. That's exactly what I would say. I don't want it because it's spoiled. Now, being here today, I've learned different. Yes, ma'am. That's the one you want because it's going to taste better. <laughs> that penicillin gives the flavor. You see. So just keep that in mind and know. Now, salt is good for how many years, people? Surely you know. No, it's not good for him. <laughs> 40 years. How many? 40. Somebody said 40 years. Anybody else? Ten. Ten. How many? Seven. It's good for seven years, and it'll go bad. Keep it another year, and it'll come back to life again. And now it's good in death. <laughs> All right. the, the problem is, if you've got good meat, it's hard to keep it seven years. Yes, sir. 